Okay, let's go live. Let's go live here. And we'll see. When we start, I think, you know, uh, let's see, you're streaming on Facebook. Okay, so hi, how are you? Good to see you. It's, uh, it's Monday. We do this Monday thing. A little bit rattling of the air conditioner back here, but I don't think it's that terrible. I don't think you can hear it, but uh, who knows, you know. Uh, anyway, let me see here. Let me make sure that we are on uh, Facebook okay, that everything's going just fine. It's a very simple thing for me to do. It's a matter of just going here. And uh, I took a heavy portion of my drug last night, so I don't know how to do things exactly. There we go. It's going, it's going fine. And no people are watching at all. All right. And uh, let me see here. How many participants do we have ready to go? We got seven participants ready to go. This is, this is exciting, folks. Uh, and I don't care about you, but I'm turning up this air conditioning all the way. I don't care if you can hear it or not. Do you, can you hear the air conditioning, everybody? No. Uh -huh. I'm turning up this air conditioning all the way. Wait a minute. Why is that? Oh, here we go. There we go. Uh, it, it, can you hear the air conditioning? No. No. Okay. Uh and I'll, I'll leave it at high uh, because it is a, it's a hot day today here in New York. How hot is it, Shecky? It's so hot. <laughs> Let's throw it over to Willard Scott. But I saw a squirrel washing his nuts. That would be what uh, Dave would do. In Central right? Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there was always some squirrel joke and nuts on your show. Uh, hey there, Marjorie. Marjorie may have to answer the door and we're expecting, I got, I ordered four hard drives for this uh, raid unit that I have. And uh, the only three came the other day and it's waiting till Monday to deliver the fourth. So I can't make the thing work right till I get all four. So we're waiting for that to come in. So oh, therefore the, the baby monitor is sitting right next to me in case they come. Yeah, the baby monitor. Tell them, what, tell them about the baby monitor. This is You're better at telling it. Alex fixes a lot. So let's come up with ingenious little things around the apartment. Tell them. Tell them. Well, yeah, the trouble is that when the bell rings, it's in the kitchen. And if we're in the bedroom. It's a different zip code. It, it's like a different <laughs> zip code. Yeah, exactly. So sometimes, especially Marjorie, doesn't hear the bell. All right. From this room, I don't hear the bell. So how do you think I solve the problem? I got a baby monitor <laughs> and I put it in the kitchen. And then anytime we're expecting something or another, we turn on the baby monitor so we can hear the uh, door ring. In the is bedroom. That, is that genius? It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And there were a couple of other things you, you, oh, the lights in the closet. The lights, we didn't have lights in closets and you know. And it was it, dark. Closets get very dark. You can't and see. And these are deep closets. So I went around and got these outdoor lights that work on batteries that immediately mm. turn on if some if, is with on, motion motion so you open it up and the light goes on Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> problem solved there was a couple of others but i can't remember you know other little little things we had to, because this is a really old apartment and it doesn't have any you know like i we don't have light dimmers or we don't have light switches there are only two light switches in the entire apartment. In the whole apartment yeah so what uh -huh. do I do? I put in um, uh, Wi-Fi light bulbs yep. so I can turn them on and off by voice to my Alexa. I say yeah. Alexa because if I say the other word. E-C-H-O. Yeah. <laughs> Echo. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, let me see here. Echo, what does E-C-H-O spell? E-C-H-O spells echo. Okay. And it would be funny if all of a sudden she then said, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the most mundane cheerleader I've ever heard. Got herself in this loop over and over again. <laughs> I, I have a friend that has one of those. I have one as well. We've taken to uh, putting ridiculously disgusting things on each other's shopping lists. <laughs> so if I'm if I'm alone in the room with it, I'll say, "Hey Alexa, put you know black dildos on the shopping list." <laughs> I put pictures. and then she responds, "They were already on there." Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know if you have the one with the screen, but I put pictures on my screen, mm -hmm. uh, which I can program into the thing and so on. And I was thinking of getting a, like somebody giving head or something I think so. <laughs> and putting it on there. Huh? I'm all in favor of it, Alex. You're all in favor of it. I was just going to surprise you. I mean, you it's only you and I that are looking at it. Because she complains about all these. And, and Jeff Bezos. And yeah. Jeff, yeah, yeah, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. There, there, Do we there, care? There is a constant uh, barrage of things they put up on the screen. Uh, Advertisements. This is what you ordered last. She wanted um, to stop it. She, someone's going to sing in Harlem. Hmm. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Marjorie was saying that she's in favor of black dildos. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> but a very small one. Oh, normal. Normal, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, so the, but the echo has, the ECHO, she didn't go off, thank God. Uh, 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 it was they were all pretty. It was pretty good, and I got I got a new one for the kitchen because they have a hundred and twenty nine dollar version, which went down thirty dollars during the one day sale or whatever back there. But I bought it before that. I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, it's got a great screen on it, and uh, you can also drop in on people. I can drop in on the kitchen and see what she's doing. Mm -hmm. It lets you know, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It, I've oh, never seen you look at me. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> but anyway, so um, so now I'll, I'll put a towel over are you, it. Are you ready for this? I moved the one from the kitchen into the guest room. I moved the one from the guest room into the living room. Into the living room, so that now uh, uh, this is uh, uh, into the living room, so that now. Uh, the um, uh, uh, every almost every room in the house has a ECHO. So what does he do? He adds one in the bathroom. So I put one <laughs> one little bit left over in the bathroom. So you, you know, monitor people I'm, taking showers. Sometimes I'm sitting there <laughs> and shit. I I want to look for the answer in the crossword puzzle, and now I can ask her. <laughs> Wow. Echo, make fart noises. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, also, I mean, I can answer you from the toilet. Okay. So, you know, it, so I have one, let's see, the kitchen, living room, um, uh, bedroom, the dog's room. No, uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> and bedroom, the bedroom, the guest room, and the, the seat, office, and the bathroom. The office. Yeah. I love those things. She loves, yeah. she loves turning the light on in the bedroom all the time. You know? I walk I in the house bedroom. and I and I say, Alexa, I'm home and all the lights in the downstairs go on. It's really? great. I yeah. love the fact that you could turn the lights on or you could set the timer in the oven. Well, yep, they, yep. they have a note, new feature. <laughs> Music in all on all the all the devices you have at the same time, so you can say, and, you know, and play how about Frank the with... announce, Alex? The announce. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. she lets this you know. This is the best. Um, I, you just say announce, and then uh, you tell them what you want to say, and then it it goes out over all the devices oh. and says, right. you know, Alex, dinner is ready. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that one. I don't have, I don't have to walk the ten steps to tell them. Yeah, but the latest thing is you can actually start to play music on every device you own. So hmm. That's kind of cool. I would but, say that it will play music on all the devices. You know, I could have the whole house playing Frank Sinatra at the same time. You know, or whatever I want. Hmm. Um, Lori Thompson, my ex newswoman, and myself singing something stupid. I could play that on every room <laughs> of the house, and and actually each room would melt. Okay. Do you, do you ever hear from her anymore? Is she around or once in a great while? You know, yeah. I heard she got married. Is what I heard. Cool. Oh. Um, Lori. Lori. Yeah. She was very nice. I liked her. Which is kind of amazing that she, you know, she she's in her in her late fifties, I think, at this. Yeah, point. I and, would think and, so. And she got married. Uh, huh. Good for her. Yeah, yeah. She she had a slightly different uh, sexual disposition when I knew her. 
But uh, it's good to see she married. She didn't marry a woman either. She married a guy. This is what hmm. I hear. I don't know. Hmm. Nobody ever informs me, you know. But every now and then I'll hear from her, you know. Good. She was my newswoman in San Francisco, in case people don't know. I mean, she was. She, like, she was five, super nice. Five. Yeah. What? Very nice woman. I, I I liked her a lot. What did you say, Shaki? No, I said very nice woman. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You like her too, don't you, Marjorie? Yes. Yeah. Very much. Marjorie hates any woman I ever had anything to do. That's with. not true. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> so far, there's only one. Huh? I mean, I'm friendly with, and I face mail with one of your ex girlfriends. Which one? Xanthi. You write her? We did face mail, FaceTime each other. Face, what is it? FaceTime. Talk to each other on video? Oh. No, we. Messenger. Messages, yeah. Oh, oh, that's not FaceTime. FaceTime is when you. you uh, Facebook. You face she emails her. Okay. I have memory issues. Yeah, you can't, you can't remember who my ex-girlfriends are. Is apparently one of the memory yeah. issues you have. But uh, no, but you. Every time I ever had a girlfriend, you just kind of like didn't like them. You just you always. There's one that comes to my mind, but I, you know, I, I don't just mention any names. I just found her on Facebook, Alex. She's listed as single, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And one of her friends is Marjorie Miller. I don't know who that is. Oh, there it goes. You know what the thing is? <laughs> once, once, uh, once you get married, the first thing people do is change their status to marriage. Right. Yeah. You can do everything. You might even forget to apply for the marriage license, but you will change your, you know, yeah, affiliation. Looks, your status. It looks pretty good. I like the one. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> How many ever uh, here ever put up? It's complicated. Oh sure. Yeah. Did you do it? Did you do it? You did it too, Mike. Okay. And yep. what, made, what made it complicated, Charlie? Well, when when the Diana and I were having issues, I did, and you know we had separated. I didn't know if we'd get back together or not, so I didn't want to put down. That I was <laughs> it's complicated. But I wasn't in a relationship anymore, so. Yeah. And then finally, when I moved back to Austin, I changed it to I'm single. Oh, okay, all right. So <laughs> when you didn't know the when you didn't know how the status was at the moment, right. it just immediately, it yeah, went with it's complicated. Who else said it that? is complicated? It becomes complicated. Who else said Mike Chisholm said he did it's complicated? When did you do it's complicated? Yeah, before Candy and I got married, it was that situation where uh, I didn't want to throw out there I was single. But at the same time, I couldn't definitively say exactly what I was. So that's why it just. The yeah. whole commitment. Well, wait a minute. You were going with her, right? He couldn't sort make of. the commitment, well, Alex, well, like most What do you mean, sort of going with her? You're either well, was, going was, with somebody or you're. Well, it was going. complicated, Alex. Like, oh, I mean, ah. was, <laughs> you know, you, you do know, Alex, a, <laughs> complicated no, and Canadian had, start with the same letter. Sons. Um, my wife has two sons and, and we wanted to be very respectful of them before we kind of announced things. We wanted to make sure we were at a certain place. So that's kind of where it was at. Okay. What'd you say, Andrew? Well, you know, complicated and Canadian start with the same first letter. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're very nice about being complicated too. <laughs> yeah, throw a donut at them. They'll leave you alone. Hello, Scott Boddicker. How are you down there in Plano, Texas? You must be hot as hell. It's actually raining and it's cool. Really? What's the degrees? It's like and only 80 degrees. It's awesome. Only 80 yeah, degrees? We're 90. Yes. Only 80 degrees? Oh, yeah. yeah. Behind Alex, we're 90. Let me we're just 90. Say. Yeah. And 91. 97 yesterday. So. Look. 91. Yeah. 91. I just uh I always have to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So I just looked and I did the conversion. It's 102 where I am right now. Ah, oh. that's fine. Oh. In what? That's in Fahrenheit, 102. Oh. Okay. 102 degrees where you are in Canada? Kelowna gets hot. Yeah, up in oh. Seattle, it's that like kind of weather over gonna make, that kind of weather. Yes, yeah, Seattle's make, breaking all records. That kind of yeah. that kind of weather's gonna make a moose melt. Actually, 73. <laughs> 73 in in plano texas yeah almost, my location almost, yeah almost snapple and there's one other thing it's a home of right what is, is another big industry in plano 
You don't oh. know? You don't get out much, do you? No, EDS. Ross Perot was his. Okay, EDS. Ross Perot was out of there. Hey, Alex, I just changed my background to a photo I found on, on her site. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's Corey and I at a couple of Schwartzman. Yeah. Is that Alex? Yeah. 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 Alex, yeah. Look at that son. hair. He has that hair. Great. Yeah, he's got hair. That's a, everything <laughs> is great. He's got hair. <laughs> I've got hair. It's just uh, I was at that show. Were you at that show? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a beautiful room, the Venetian room. God, that was great. Yeah. They used to play there. So what year I was this? Playing there. What? That what was quite a, quite a few years. 80, year? 89, 80, what? 89? 86? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it probably was. No, that wouldn't have been. I mean, no, 80. I, I went to San Francisco in 80. I didn't start going to the, the Quake. Did, we didn't do one, but we did yeah. do one at KITS in 1985, maybe 86. Yeah, that sounds somewhere about around right. there, maybe 87. You did, we, one in, we did, you did one every, in... We did them every year. Didn't you do one in San Jose one year, too? I uh -huh. think. Yeah. yeah uh, no, we didn't. That was a, brec that was a breakfast, breakfast with that. Yeah, yeah. But supper with Schwartzman's, we always did uh, at Christmas time. Mm. And for years, quite a few years, we did them at the Venetian Room of the Fairmont Hotel. And then the, the, like the last couple of years, we did it at this club called Bimbo. Mm. Another place my father... Did you say there. Bimbo's? Yeah. Yeah. The name <laughs> yeah. Bimbo's for Bolo. They actually <laughs> have... They, I, they may still have it to this day. They had the girl in the fish... In the... Uh, in the um, uh, uh, in the fish bowl, was it? You know, yeah. it, was like, it was like in a glass of, of, of water or something. And it apparently, was, it still oh, exists. The illusion. They had a woman in the basement dressed up as a mermaid, and then somehow through a series of mirrors that went up to this, I think this fish bowl, she appeared in the fish bowl. <laughs> and one day, then when I was playing there, they allowed me to go down there and sit next to her, and so I was in the fish bowl. <laughs> That was fun. I love that. Yeah. How much alimony do you pay that one? <laughs> <laughs> what the fish? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, uh, by the way, uh, Shecky. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you've been appearing. You've been cheating on me. <laughs> yes. <'Cause, laughs> you've been appearing on another podcast. I thought we yes. had an exclusive contract with you. I hope you didn't use, as you may know it, any um, 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 po property, what is it? Intellectual property. Intellectual property of the Alex <laughs> Bennett here. podcast. However, there's nothing intellectual about this show, so you no. probably didn't violate intellectual property. <laughs> I was trying to be careful. We'll see when he edits it down, if anyone will still talk to me at the Letterman show. Oh. <laughs> Well, what kind of stories do you can you possibly? I mean, I'm sure you can tell terrible stuff, but I'm sure you don't do that. No, no, but you know, somebody will, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. But no, I have each a question. one of them lasted almost two hours, and I think he'll cut them down to like 40 minutes, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, how long did, did you guys? I did talk two for? of them last week, and he wants me back for a third. Mm hmm. Good, good. And That's like awesome. this show, it's like I got nothing to say. And then two hours later, you're still babbling. <laughs> it's it's about nothing. You have nothing to say, but you just keep babbling. Yeah, yes. babble at nothing. You want you at least you at least get out of bed for the show, or <laughs> no? It's on the phone. It's not video. It's a phoner. So, so you, still, you do it right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, Shecky, whenever I talk to somebody from the show, I always precurse it by saying, I only want to do positive stuff. I'm not, and the, the, the sentence I use is, I'm not going to ask you any questions about Stephanie. That's what I say. Oh, she has never, I, she has never come up in our discussion. Yeah. I mean, Definitely. he asked in the last one about Lori Diamond, who is one of my dearest friends. So I have nothing bad to say about her that other people might, you know. Yeah. And that's kind of what I said, you know. 
but and he said, he said, you, you know, know he was running the show for a while. What happened? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and Stephanie, who you refer to, uh, is the woman who uh, one a former intern and one of Dave's assistants, and the yeah. one that the whole hubbub was about. Yes. Okay. Which uh, I've said to you, and you've agreed with me many times. If that happened today, Dave would not survive that. Well, he wouldn't have survived that Sarah Palin BS. What was that? What did he do with Sarah Palin? He know. told a joke about Sarah Palin's daughter being at Yankee Stadium with her, but he got the wrong daughter. Yeah. Oh. The joke was uh, she got impregnated during the, seven out, the seventh inning uh, stretch. Stretch. <laughs> and I guess but the daughter that was the, there the was like 12 years old or something. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And we then had those protests across the street, fire Dave, you know, Sarah Palin supporters were, you know, protesting. Uh -oh. What was interesting about that protest, because, you know, I'm watching on the feed, it's only when we turn the cameras on them, they started protesting. <laughs> <laughs> when they didn't see, a, you know, the red light, they just stood there. <laughs> and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I, I, that's, that's incredible. Uh, uh, I, but I'm saying that it, with today's uh, uh, sensibilities, which are, I think, somewhat insane and off the off the off the charts, uh, he would not have survived the Stephanie thing, and he wouldn't have survived that that you mentioned. But it, again, I'll go back to the fact that this man tried to blackmail Dave, right. and within ten minutes, Dave had his lawyer on an airplane to New York and went to a grand jury to testify. And again. that night, Dave went on and told the whole story. He cut yeah. it off at the knee. You know, so whatever you want to think, you know. Including the fact that he had workplace antics. And well, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, I've never had a, a workplace where there haven't been antics before. Antics. Well, there, oh, nobody was complaining more, there aren't it. any more. You've got to be careful about your workplace antics now. Mm. You know. Uh, as long as somebody doesn't complain, though, they're OK, right? Well, well nobody but the young me. lady did not complain. Exactly. It just happened that this boyfriend tried to blackmail Mr. Am I, correct me if I'm mistaken. I'll just say it. You don't have to say it, Rick. I believe that Dave paid for her college education. Am I, yes, he did. Am I right yes, or wrong? Did. And that was not because of this incident. <laughs> no, we had, a, we had a fund for staff members if there was an illness that or a family member that would be taken care of, particularly during the AIDS crisis, mm -hmm. and we had a fund if you went for higher education. Oh, see. So not just her. Yeah. Like if I, I already have my master's, yeah. but if I were going for higher education, I could go to this fund and it would pay for my wait college. A minute, wait a minute. You have a master's? Of course I do. What do you mean, of course I do? <laughs> Didn't you ever see it on my wall in the office? No, I never. It, what, what, you have an office? What office? <laughs> no, Letterman. Letterman. It's sat on the it's sat on the office. Charlie, for don't you have years. a master's? Yeah, I have a Wait master's a in yeah. finance. Guess who else has a master's here? Wait a minute. I know there are probably other people. Well, oh, Jeff has a master's, and Andrew has a master's, and <laughs> uh, Scott Boddicker has a master's, oh, and Marjorie has a master's. <laughs> And what do you got, Alex? What? The Grand a stint in the Navy. What? What'd you say? I said a stint in the Navy. I did a stint in <laughs> the Navy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do. I nothing. have two years of college. That's it. You know, but You're I. You're a dropout. No, I chose to be. I, you know, I was. Gonna, I was going to school. And what was I studying? Broadcasting. Mm. And I was already in broadcasting, and it just got to the point where I went. They're not teaching anything here that anybody's going to be able to use. They're teaching stuff that's how to do radio 10 years ago. Yeah, well, my undergrad was journalism. And then you realize you can't get a job with that. Right. So well, I went back and got a master's in finance. I did it only because, see, I was already, I already had kind of a profession. And I did it because... I thought you were supposed to. You got to get a college education. Go it's got to show up on your resume. And I, quite frankly, I hated fucking school. You know, I hated it because you, you know what I hated most? Tests. I hated tests. 
Who's mm. paying for this part? There's nothing worse than a goddamn test. And, and it doesn't prove uh, anything. You know, all it proves is that they have a set of answers to questions. And if you can answer it the way they programmed you to answer it, you, know, yeah. you, can't, you can't think out of the box on any of the questions. Mm, kind of sounds like a guy who didn't go to college. I, 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 <laughs> I didn't go to college. Thank you very much. Uh, who, is it, who said that? Charles. Charles. <laughs> <laughs> You I don't, you don't remember, I finished my master's up on a Friday and went officially on staff at Letterman on the following Monday. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. Because before that, I was, quote, a $100 a day consultant on the show. I see. Which, which, which paid more? Well, the problem was I was making too much money and they said, you have to go on staff. <laughs> <laughs> so in a sense, I took a pay cut. But... Well, we got 12 weeks off with pay by being mm. on staff. 12 weeks off with pay? Well, you get 12 weeks off because there's 12 weeks that you didn't do it. dark. So we were off and I went on staff on a Monday and the following Monday was a dark week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Because it was going into the summer and then you had three weeks off in August yeah. with pay and like, oh, okay. Not a bad deal. Let's say hello to Vernon. He looks so comfortable down there in Kentucky, right? Kentucky. <laughs> I got it right. Wait a minute. He's frozen. I think he's frozen. He's frozen. His oh. mic is off. No, but his mic, mic is off. off. His mic he's... is off. No, but, but I think he's, he's off. Also Are you frozen. there, Vernon? He's Vernon? also off. Very stoic. Vernon's not there. Those meds must be powerful. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> great meds. I've been taking a, 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 a one of these pregabalin pills, and I've been taking tens, and they're really good. They put me to sleep and everything. The last night I decided, I think I'll take one of the more powerful ones, the one fifties. Man, did that knock me out! I wake up in the morning, I'm bouncing into walls. Wow, you know, it's wonderful. I'm I'm very nicely high today. I'm, and he's still bouncing. I'm still bouncing. I'm still what bouncing. Uh, oh, we did. Uh, 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 yeah, he'll call back. Yeah, he got. He realized he was frozen up and all of that. Tell him about Lupin. Well, Lupin. Yeah. Has anybody seen Lupin on Netflix? I told you, I've only gotten two episodes into season I gotta one. Tell you, I, to I, go think, to I think it's the best series I've seen in years. In oh. years, it is just terrific. And it's very, you know, it's it's got two seasons of five episodes each. And actually, they shot the whole 10 episodes at the beginning. Netflix just kind of parceled them out five at a time. But man, is that a good show. And they're going to do season three on it. It's just wonderful. It's about a well, I also told you, call my agent on Netflix. Another French show. That's wonderful. really good. Yeah, you know doing, we're watching these shows now with the, uh, with the uh, dialogue dub. And the reason is they and have, English subtitles. English subtitles, but here's here's the thing: they've actually made that into a fine art uh, because they get people who are actually acting when they're reading those lines. You remember in the old days you used to make fun of like foreign films because they say, "So how are you today?" You know? Yeah, it'd be Paul Paul Freese from Rocky and Bullwinkle be doing the voice. Yeah, exactly, or exactly. And now it's like. They go out and get good actors who are actually giving good acting to the to the dubbing. So it makes it much easier than sitting there and watching titles. And the reason I did that was, I don't know if you know about this, but German is a very terse language. It's compressed and you can say a lot of things in a very short sentence. Um, let me get uh, uh, Vernon back in here. In a very short sentence. So if you were trying to watch that show, Berlin Babylon, uh, with the subject, the subtitles, they're going too fast. You're paying too much attention to reading the subtitles and what's going on. So I started watching it using the dub, and I went, they're really doing a very good job of this, you know. And so I'm, I'm not one of these people that's like a, a foreign film snob and says, I, I absolutely read the subtitles. I want the original language. Why? You don't understand what they're saying. You know, what I do after the whole series is over, I go back and watch it without 
the dubbing just to hear what the people the got people sounded like and it's a whole different thing you know but um it's a great show and you say call my agent is, is a great show. oh wonderful what, what is it about it's about agents in paris and oh. the original paris title is 10 percent oh okay <laughs> <laughs> and netflix retitled it call my agent Mm -hmm. And it has real oh, it's on Netflix. And, it uses and every real, episode has a real guest star. A real guest star. Oh, really? Who's like a friend, a famous French actor who's represented by the agency or in conflict mm -hmm. with the agency. Are we supposed to know who these people are? You'll, you'll know a bunch of them, not all of them. I well, mean, what's her name? Um, Sigourney Weaver's in the fourth season. Fourth season one, yeah. Oh, in the fourth season, there are four seasons of this. Well, there are four seasons. They're going to make a movie and then do a fifth season. Okay. How many in each but season? But they're only six episodes each. So yeah. it's not okay. a great investment, if you want to call it Well, that. Lupin is five episodes each. So it's like 10 episodes. Boom, 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 boom. And it's a, just a great story. You know, and it, it makes you laugh. It makes you smile. It, it, also, it makes you cry. It makes you kick, you know. Make, make yes. you piss your pants. It's really <laughs> wonderful. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. It didn't make me piss my pants. It's my prostate that caused the problem. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello, Vernon. Are you there? We just I don't see myself yet. I know. We don't see you. We can hear you. Let me uh, switch off and switch back on. That's okay, a good idea. Again. There we go. No. No. Oh, just hang up and just call back in. I think you may just be having some kind of... Uh, and check your... Go up and check your camera and see which cam it, if your camera is being set, it's being set to the camera you use. It's this uh, Windows 10 laptop and my wife, I bought for my wife and this thing is just, it sucks. <laughs> uh, well, just hang up and call again. I think it might work a second time. Yeah. Well, okay. did you see the story about Western Digital, the standalone hard drive supposedly got wiped out overnight? Wait, say that again? Western Digital, the standalone hard drives got wiped out by a they, virus overnight. They all did? All of them? Everybody? I don't know if all did, but apparently, like at three in the morning last night, some kind of command was sent if you were connected to the internet. Oh, shit. Well, well I don't and, have any, so I'm... <laughs> No, I checked. I, I, I have them, but they weren't connected to the internet. I have so. this raid here, it's QNAP raid, and they attacked QNAP. And a lot of guys had their stuff, not erased, but changed so that you couldn't use it. Yeah. And if you wanted to be able to use it, ransomware, $500. Well, that's kind of what happened. In other words, what I read is people can see their folders, but can't get into their files. Right. Okay. So, is, and then are they asking for ransomware? No, yeah. no. I, it no. was a weird well, story this morning. With QNAP, they were asking for ransomware, and it was $500. And the reason it was only $500 is because they knew that this was going to be just average people, and they don't have millions or whatever. So they figured if they got $500 from about 1,000, 2,000 people, they'd be in good shape because that was the only way you were going to get your, your, your stuff back. back. Although yeah. QNAP did figure it out, I think, and they sent out a fix for it. But it, it never attacked my machine. I saw a thing constantly trying to come in and do it. I didn't mm -hmm. know what it was, and I wrote them and asked them, and they didn't know what it was. Well, they soon found out, but they never let me know. But I, I, I then, they, they sent out a thing to change certain parameters in your machine, and I did, and those went away. They didn't, weren't allowed to get in. So that's the, uh, uh, but you know, th this ransomware thing, it's, as you say, if it's going to uh, uh, Western digital uh, hard drives, network hard drives or whatever, live drives that are online, this is uh, quite, a, quite a deal, you know? I mean, yeah. it, this is getting down to you and me. That's, yeah. And that's scary. It's very well. And I'm not going to say just Eastern Europeans, but these guys know what they're doing. And they know how to do it. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, uh, oh, frozen. Yeah. No, he's not frozen. Hey. He's not frozen. Wave at us, Vernon. Wave at us. 
thing. Ah, there he is. He's there choppy, he is. not frozen. He's choppy, yeah. but he may, choppy. Be, he may be somewhere. Are you calling from a different place in the house than you normally call from? Yeah, I'm normally in my den. Well, that's the reason why we're having a hard time getting a picture. Yeah, they, yeah. you know, you kind of like. And this laptop, it has Windows 10 on it, and I, I hate Windows 10. I, uh, well, Windows 11 is coming up by the end of the year, I gather. Yeah, that's oh, you know, goody. That's meant to screw up Windows 10. Yeah, so, he, you know. he goes to 11. It'd be one better. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, Ohio, how's everything in that part of the country? Well, some guys went kayaking in Alum Creek Park in, near Columbus today and found a leg. That was <laughs> a <cool>. leg? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. They found a leg. A leg, a human leg. Yeah. Is, it, 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 is there anyone missing one? I, I I don't know that they found anything to match it up to yet, but they're working on it. Male wow. or female? Uh, yeah. I don't know. They didn't show, they didn't show any pictures. It's gonna be a new game show. <laughs> Name that leg. Could you tell? I guess you could tell a male leg from the female leg, right? Of sure. course. Yeah. Depends on how long it's been there. Well, or, the toenails are painted. Mm. And how the person, uh, uh, you know, is. Or if she was a hippie. Shaved legs, yeah, right. You Shaved say? legs. Yeah. Hairy, Hairy legs. legs. What did you say? I'll tell you. Hairy legs. Yeah. Well, well, not necessarily updated. Well, I know, but it's. <laughs> you've got some. Yeah. My neuropathy, I don't have any hair on my legs anymore. Yeah, but I it's. Don't... To answer your question, it's hot. It was 90. It, we just had a flash rainstorm. It's uh, muggy. But yeah. Other than that, all good. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were eighty percent humidity. I, I, I thought you were referring to that had something to do with the leg being found. Hey, it's summer. It's summer. Yeah. Well, we're having a little, little heat wave here. I didn't go for my so, walk today, and I probably won't tomorrow. I'm not walking in this. It's gonna be hotter tomorrow, Alex. It'll be worse I'm tomorrow. Hungry, yeah. I mean. Wow. Yeah. You know, what, you know what? You know what happened to me, and and I I got to go down and take care of it. I think I'm doing my pills for the month, right? I got one of these little things that's a month's worth of pills. I'm putting them in and everything. All of a sudden, I notice there's something just wrong. It's like either not enough pills or something's wrong. So I start checking one thing out, and after I'm through checking or something, everything out, I find that my blood pressure medicine, which is five milligrams, I go online and I I I found two pills that I didn't know. So I brought both of them in there and they were both the blood pressure medicine. And one was five uh, milligrams. And the other one, the tinier one was two and a half milligrams. So I go back to the bottle where I found the small ones and they have it listed as five milligrams. Uh -oh. It gave me the wrong strength. No. Now, that's kind of dangerous to do for somebody who might really have bad blood pressure problems, yeah. you know, to give them the wrong strain. Yeah. That's really a, a screw up. My Costco mail order pharmacy would never do that. <laughs> should, uh, should, we, should we include that story in your eulogy? Would you please? <laughs> in fact, chisel it into my tombstone. <laughs> He died of high no, blood all pressure. All I have to say is I got the wrong I got the wrong medication. Wow. Alex, does that go next to I told you so? I know I told you I was sick. Yeah. That, <laughs> and then Marjorie's gonna make millions of dollars suing the drug manufacturers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or the pharmacy. Exactly. Exactly. I told you I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> on your tombstone I told you I was sick so how normal is stuff getting like for instance, Charlie how normal is stuff getting in Texas normal yeah. well I mean half the people at the store this morning didn't have masks on so yeah but they don't have to right no, they don't, they're not required but half the people still were wearing masks well, that's Great. I think we're finding that's that true in New York too we go places and you don't have to wear masks and people are still wearing masks like you know? my office you needed to go into the lobby and in get fact, on the elevator the strange thing is I see more people wearing masks now in Harlem than we're wearing them when we weren't <laughs> when we were supposed to be wearing masks we're here in Ohio we're kind of 
on the fence. So we all wear masks, but we leave our noses out. <laughs> I, I was umpiring yesterday, and they were actually <laughs> putting your nose on players. the fence. Yeah, yeah we just. What were, you, what were you saying, Charlie? So I was umpiring yesterday, and there were softball players playing the game with masks on. Really? Were you? Oh, were you you're umpiring them? again? Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Were you wearing a mask? Uh, I did for the first half of the first game, and then I, I gave up on it. Oh, okay. Were these kids that hadn't been vaccinated these yet? Adults. Huh? These are adults. All right. Let me ask. Let me ask you a question, everybody. Next uh, Monday is the Fourth of July. Yeah. You want me to do a show? How many could be here next? Uh, the I'm going to be in. I'm going to be I'm out. Here. So. Uh, well, well, I got nowhere to go. Raise your I'll hand. Everybody who can be here next week. Think so. Okay, we're not going anywhere, right, Marjorie? Yeah, but I'm taking off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the holiday. Because I can. No, you can't. This is the fun holiday. show. This is the it's fun a, show. It's a paid holiday. This is the one where we have fun. Okay, well, then the only one who can't make it is Len LaFrisco, and if Marjorie doesn't do it, I'm divorcing. So. I might join from the beach. I'm going to the beach, so maybe yeah, I'll join. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Well, I mean, normally I wouldn't do it, but, you know, everybody likes doing the show. So we I love the show. You know, probably Mandy will be able to call. So yeah. uh, <laughs> I like Mandy. Yeah. Oh, everybody likes Mandy. Yeah, I was uh, trying to call her. But I don't Vernon, know. you still having trouble, huh? <laughs> I say I don't like this machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I've got something. Yeah, but now you've you got go. a square picture. Okay. Well, it's okay. Yeah. All right. You just look like the early days of television. <laughs> He's on the Dumont network. <laughs> I changed something on the video settings thinking that was what the problem was, but apparently not. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a, there's also a problem when you talk, it's kind of breaking up a little bit. So it probably where you're doing and the sounds it, breaking up on my end too. Oh, is it really? Maybe if you were doing it from another room where it was closer, where, where's your, where's your uh, Wi-Fi? located in the house right above me i'm in the basement and it's oh. right above me yeah well maybe there's been trouble getting up there you know put more foil on the rabbit ears yeah 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 that's right I mean, I, there's this whole new thing they call mesh i don't understand i have one how do you uh, do you like it andrew oh it's it's fantastic all it is is a series of little pods that go around the house to communicate with each other so that it's in each one of those is its own broadcast and they're all intertwined. Yeah, but suppose you have one that's weak, weaker than the rest. Or they're all the same. If they're in, if they're within range of each other, you get the same quality oh, signal out of all of them. Really? So if you live in a in a house that's really big, where one router won't get it, you 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 place them strategically so they talk to each other in a line. Huh. Hmm. Because okay. uh, but my, my problem is I have the whole house wired here. I have more wires going out of here. You know. Yeah, so. I don't. I. In my house, I don't use any of the coax or, or cat five cables anymore for anything. Because I, to this day, I find that uh, a hard wire is preferable to Wi-Fi. It is, anything. but the new Wi-Fi 6 is very close. I, I'm sure it's very close, but I, uh, um, you know, I would have to rewire everything if I put one of those mesh systems in. Because I've got like uh, a, a four switcher over here and then it goes to another switcher with four outputs and so on and and so on and so forth and finally winds up one of them winds up in the bedroom one of them winds up in the guest room and they all are pretty damn strong so the point is with the meshes you don't have to rewire anything because you don't need wires i know if i were starting today if we just yeah. moved in i'd buy a mesh system. yeah okay. yeah for me for me to get a signal all the way to you know to the west wing i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> And 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 I couldn't get a signal at the helipad until I got the mesh in place because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's it's a it's a long walk through you know through the alligator farm. By the way, when's the helicopter coming to you today? <laughs> uh, it, it's not. It's it's. I gave the pilot a day off. He oh, really? he owned he owned an apartment in this place uh, just north of Miami, and he's kind of busy today. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Too soon. <laughs> What's was it out on Surfside? When you all Sur yeah, Surfside. Saw, that's it. That was I could think of. All saw that building collapse. Oh my! What's Awful. The first thing you said. Oh shit! Yeah. No, I, no. 
you know, God, World was Trade it, Center. Was, was it intentional? Was it an yeah. explosion? No. If you our, say you had a craving for pancakes, you're sick. Boy, somebody's oh. gonna, our, our first comment was, boy, somebody's going to get sued. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's what my wife said. She's a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Major. <laughs> a lot of people. It's, I'm it's, telling you that, you know. They're, yeah, they've been working on it for three or four years. They've been telling them it's cracking and settling yeah. and sinking and all of that stuff. Yeah, and they were just getting around to doing something about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In a post-fact society, who cares what the engineers say? What were you going <laughs> to say? That's the consequence. Scott was talking. Scott? Mr. By That Much. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. By That Much. <laughs> Someone said, uh, what, is, what does this button do, Jim? <laughs> oh. Well, they, they have that pile of rubble. Which they call it the Awful. pile, and they really shouldn't call it the pile. They should call it the human pate. Yeah. You know, because, yeah. I mean, nobody... Then they're saying, those poor people down there are going, well, you know, I, people have lasted 15 days under these conditions, and we're still holding out hope. Eh. No, the, the floors are touching each other. Yes. Yeah. 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 You have 60 year old people, unfortunately. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's yeah. sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not. It was it, very sad. I, I, felt, I felt bad about it when I saw it. Yeah. The bridges are falling apart because we've been ignoring the engineering oh on the hose. Yeah. I know. The, I drop. Anytime I'm on a bridge, I look up at the, you know, there's this and see the rust and see the, yeah, it just yeah. scares the shit yeah. out of me. Yeah. One of these days, one of those bridges is going to come down and a massive amount of people are going to get killed. Yeah. And, and somebody will say, well, we should do something about the infrastructure. And, and it's going to be a, it'll be a major bridge. There's a major bridge that goes between Cincinnati and, and Kentucky that's been in need of repair since I was in college, which was, you know, not a few years ago. Um, and you would think if if their senator, who happens to be named uh, Turtle Turtle Mc something, McConnell, he's all in favor of the of the infrastructure right now, just so he can get that new bridge. Yeah, well, they've been they've been needing it forever. Yeah. And nobody seems to be commenting on the fact that the previous administration said we're going to get a trillion dollar infrastructure bill when he ran for office, and never once brought it up again. Let's say tomorrow you get the infrastructure bill and you can start building that new bridge. How long is it going to be before that bridge is up? Eight Six months. Years. Eight, Eight months, months, months to a year to build a bridge like that. Is that what they say? Wow. If, if, they, if they were in a hurry, they could do it in a year. I remember yeah. they were doing the San Francisco Bay Bridge. That thing was taken. <laughs> It took almost six years, I think. Well, Como Bridge took a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. The tech is out there to have it built within a year. It's a matter of whether they want to spend and get it done that quickly. Well, they will. Yeah, want but then to... the politicians can't get their graft by building the bridge if they do right. it. Yeah. And the cost of here, here in Cleveland, there's a, a huge bridge that goes across the valley from the east to the west side that's bigger than the Cincinnati Bridge. And they had the option of getting it done in a year and chose not to because of the cost. And they well, did they, they did it in two sections and it's it wasn't it wasn't falling down. What bothers me about politicians is that, for instance, we just legalized marijuana in, in New York. Uh, are these uh, do you notice any of the stores opening up? It's gonna you know, take a while. Be, no, it's gonna take a while because tell them why, Shecky. They don't uh, get their they're not getting their graft from it. Yeah, yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be a, gonna a little piece of the pie. Permit process, gonna, taxes. They want to figure out who's gonna get what when, what it's gonna cost, how we're gonna regulate it. No, it's legal. Just mm -hmm. let still people have to set up the district. Let people open it up. The licensing, they still have to set that up. No, but they they don't even have to license. Just let people open stores and charge them taxes on no, it. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's going to be like liquor. I mean, what's, mm -hmm. what's the big whoop with pot for crying out loud? What's part, the part of the argument? Part of the argument to get it legalized was that it was going to be a big revenue for the state. So they want to make sure they get the well, revenue. Well, look what it did for Colorado. Yep. I mean, it paid for everything in Colorado plus. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, it could do very well for New York, but they're going to take forever. To get this thing going, but the same with gambling. In the New only York. advantage now is you can walk down the street smoking a joint. And it's not illegal. I can't do that yet. <laughs> I mean, I can't. It I feels weird. Like but but you, Bender, you live in New York. Could you walk down the street smoking a joint? Absolutely. See, I, I was I in. Um, 
I was in Washington Square for the first time on Saturday night, and it's insane what's going on there in Washington Square Park on a Saturday night. I've never, in 37 years of being down here, I've never seen anything like it. What do you mean, what's going on? People smoking right out. Thousands of people with drum kits and conga, conga drums <laughs> and a, cl a mushroom cloud. Of <laughs> Over the and then they had that so did you wake, club in the middle. Did you wake up you in know? your own apartment? I, I, was not, I was not at all sympathetic to the complaints until I was there. And I was like, if I lived around here, it's unbelievable. Who Literally. wants to go in half on a food truck? We'll park right there. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fight club going on in... Uh... Oh, there's a fight club that goes on Saturday night in the middle of Washington Square Park. It, it was an unbelievable scene. Actually, Shecky, I was going to see two of your old cohorts at the bitter end, of Will Lee and Anton Figg. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. what what happened uh, um, uh, is they started closing the park. Are they still closing it at ten? No, that's, uh, we were there like a quarter to ten, and we thought they might be closing it at ten. And I thought if they try and close this, it's going to be a riot. But um, then we no, we, I gather that, the cops just stand there. Uh, there's a ring of cops around the arch and, uh, and watch, and they watch. They don't do anything. Okay. They so, they, so they've decided they to help. Breathe. Yeah, yeah. Nick, when we got out of the cops don't want to be accused of. Of what they do, <laughs> of what they, of their job, <laughs> right? Well, when we came back through the park at midnight, it was it hadn't it was even crazier. So we were surprised that it was still going on at midnight. Yeah. Wow. Well, in Austin, Texas, Charlie, anything? Not that I know. Of course, I stay in my apartment if I'm not going out umpiring. So really, how many nights a week are you umpiring? Well, right now it's just been just on Sundays, but starting on the twelfth, we'll start doing the weekday nights. So, oh, so I won't Great. be. I'm I glad be, doing I won't it. Be seeing again. you on the show anymore, huh? Well, hopefully. I mean, I hope I'm signing up for two nights, but we'll see how many. Uh, oh, okay. If they don't have anybody to cover the other nights, I'll have to work. Yeah, that would be a shame. But it's good that you're back to. doing it. Yeah. yeah. That meant a so lot. Funny is, my blood sugar readings have gone down since I've been on fire. Just the uh -huh. one day. Wow. Yeah. Well, how do you think it affects your blood sugar? Yeah. Well, exercise. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of anything else to change. I haven't changed my diet. Wow. Hmm. wow. Running around for four or five hours on Sunday. Son of a hmm. bitch. Did it make it better or worse? It made it better. Better. Yeah. Now, Marjorie, I have Steve Bender's. Uh, uh, a phone number so I can text him. So we've got to do dinner with he and his wife. Yeah, we have to wait for it to cool off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like September. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll, 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 we'll wait till it cools off and then we'll do it really fast before it gets warm again. <laughs> you know? Um, maybe Shecky can come into the city and join us. That'd be great. If I'm invited, I got nothing better to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. I still got it. I forget. Did I tell you that MoMA is going to be running our hospitality? Yeah, yeah you told in me. The, um, that's my garden. That's about my favorite Buster Keaton film. Wait, MoMA. say it again. MoMA's going to do what? They're going to be running the Buster Keaton feature, our hospitality in the sculpture garden one night. Wow. Hmm. Wow. It's yeah. a great movie. It's a great movie. Let me know when. I just might do it. You know? Yeah, I think it's, a, I'll, I'll double check, but I think it's the 13th, which yeah. I think is a Tuesday or a Wednesday or something. Because, you of know, July? What's, yeah. What's really important, I think, with silent films is an audience. Uh, there are laughs in films that if you watch them silently, you don't notice are really funny. But when you watch it with an audience, it changes all of that. I watched it with Bill Jr. with an audience. And just the scene where he's trying on different hats. People were just dying laughing. If you well, it's like a... Harold Lloyd films. He's very good, but if you see with an audience, it is a different experience. Right. If you, if you play a silent film in a forest, does it make a sound or no? <laughs> it depends if a bear is crapping back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, uh, but... Uh, um, yeah, Steve, we'll, uh, we'll wait for the weather to change. But yeah. we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll text you. We'll do it. We'll figure it we'll out. Do it soon. Okay. And there's nothing, nowhere in your part of town to eat, right? In my part of town? Well, I mean, you come up here. You come up here. I'll take yeah. you to... I mean, either way. I mean, there's plenty of downtown. There's plenty of uptown. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. You know, yeah. Come up. But between here and there, there's nothing but doctor's offices. And restaurants. 
<laughs> you notice that every apartment house in New York City ground floor has doctors. Hmm. I mean, it's just like it, 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 I don't care what where the apartment house is. Always in the bottom floor. There's a you know. Well, they get a lot of income from that. Sure, the building. Sure. sure. And as someone who's going to buy an apartment, it's not the most desirable floor to live on. Right. I guess you wouldn't want to live on the first floor, would you? you know, no. Your windows, yeah. 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 You know, what view do you have? And in theory, people can look through your windows and see whatever you're doing. Yeah. Or you have to keep your blinds closed all the time, and that makes the apartment terribly dark. And yeah. easier, easier to break in an apartment on the ground floor than on the floor. <laughs> There's a lot of light in our apartment because we're up on the eighth floor and, you know. But the other day I looked, somebody was peeking in. But they were the guys <laughs> working on the building. So yeah. you know. <laughs> maybe it was super it's funny, terrible waking up and, and all of a sudden yeah, you're lying there half naked, right? On top of the covers because it's kind of hot. And then you look over the side of your eye. Here's a guy looking in the window. He's like chipping at the building. Could be worse. Could, could, be, he, a, could be a giant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was he vomiting? <laughs> they were, they were, they were uh, what do they call the term? Uh, pointing. But they're also pointing replacing the something pointing. somewhere. Pointing. Pointing. They were pointing <laughs> and repair and the rest the of the building. Yeah. Well, okay. Alex, don't you want them to do that work rather than being in that apartment building in Miami? Well, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. But anyway, so they, they're, they're pointing the building, and but they, they go clink, 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 clink. Mm -hmm. This is going on all day. And then sometimes they bring out the high power to put it. <laughs> and this went on for weeks at a time. You know, and I was up at nine every morning because that's when they were ready to go. Okay, but again, do you want to be in that building in Miami where they didn't do that? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Well, maybe every was everybody asleep? Yes. It was 1 30 in the morning. Okay. I mean, what a way to go. You know, you just didn't know what happened and you're dead. That's no, true. I think you knew. I think you knew. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Unless you're buried in the rubble alive for two or three days and then you die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a happy That's really nice. As you're on your way down to <laughs> lobby, you, that happened. you're like, oh. <laughs> that happened in San Francisco. We had like a, there was like a four story building. Okay. They were these old San Francisco style buildings. And you even saw it on TV because it's the one that just pancaked all the way down to the ground. Yeah. Guy on the top floor. Nobody got killed. It. There really? was only one person in the whole building there because it was during work day hours, work week hours. There was nobody in the building except for one guy who was up on the top floor and the whole building comes down, pancakes down. The, and, and he gets out and walks out the window. <laughs> and, just, and, goes, and goes to work. He took the whole trip down. I just walked out the window. <laughs> so I mean, th th we didn't have. I don't think we had any deaths in the uh, in the Marine on that thing. We lost quite a few buildings. Mm. There was one building that was like this. Yeah. And they were going to tear it down. And the guy who owned the building saying, "You're not tearing anything down. We're going to prop this thing up and save it." And sure enough, he went and hired people to pull the thing back up, and they reshored up the building, and it's still there to this very Did day. Did you ever go out to the Cypress structure or any of that stuff and see it firsthand? I did. I I think I did. But Boy, I'm, I'll tell you, standing there in front of that, it was it was very powerful. You know, seeing it on TV is one thing, yeah. but standing in front of it that's was that's where people something. got killed. How many people were killed? Fifty something, I feel. Yeah. yeah, they were driving down the road and on the the freeway. Just and the crazy. only reason that wasn't full was because. The A's were playing the Giants that night, and everybody wanted to go home and watch the game. The World Series was being yep. held at Candlestick Park. Was that the Park. earthquake? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. The Candlestick Park in San Francisco. And so there was, they weren't going out to the Oakland A's stadium in which they the would be taken right. that freeway. So yep. But Alex, crazy. you told me you were driving, was it on Division or something when the earthquake hit? Visadero, yeah. Visadero. Mm. I was coming down the other side of it, and all of a sudden I'm I'm, I want to put on my brakes, but I feel that I can't. My the car is still going. Yeah. Mm. What was happening was I put on the brakes, but the car was bouncing up and down down the road. Whoa! The road kept <laughs> and finally, when I got, I got to the bottom, it kind of stopped. And and my girlfriend at the time, Zanthi, as you said earlier, <laughs> said to me, uh, "I think." Uh, 
there are a lot of people. Oh, oh look at the, the 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 wires. You know these wires for the cars and the truck. It wasn't yeah. like that. They had buses and stuff that were electric. Yeah. And the wires were swaying back and forth. And then we looked ahead of us and people were all falling out into the street. Mm -hmm. So we turned around, went back up to Visadero and down the street. And we go back into the marina. And uh, 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 Nancy says to me, look over there. That, that building is partially gone. And I said, well, look over there. That one's gone completely. Wow. And it, all of a sudden, we got back to my apartment. We tried to get out of the car. You couldn't because the curb had gone up about a half a foot. Whoa. Uh, so uh, she had to get out of my side of the car. And uh, we went up to the apartment. And it, we decided, let's get in the car and go over to Marin and go see my business manager, maybe stay with him or whatever. Mm. So we got in the car and we started going. And I noticed that on one street, people were having all kinds of problems. And I, I got out to see what I could do. Now, I'm not a brave guy. Let me just take a few minutes over time here. I'm mm. not a brave guy. Okay. I'm the world's biggest coward. <laughs> but in this situation, I suddenly said, well, let me go see if I can help. And I run out there, you know, and there are aftershocks going on. Okay. Yeah. And she's yelling. And I think of her as the brave one, right? <laughs> and she's yelling at me, get in the car and let's get across the bridge. Yeah. And I, and finally, I got back to the car and we drove and went across the bridge. But uh, uh, And uh, luckily, we, I said, she said, can we make it across the bridge before there's another earthquake? And I said, it only takes a minute and a half to get across this bridge, if you're lucky. Right. And the chances of another earthquake hitting in that minute and a half are, yeah, and one didn't. But there were a lot of aftershocks but what yeah. afterwards. I mean, you'd suddenly feel something. You go running for the end of the door because it was, you know, you got, you, uh, you got very. I, I was I was 70 miles from the epicenter and I was thrown to the ground. I mean, the, the, wow. it, was really, it was really going. That was the big Loma Prieta quake. In October 17th, 1989, I believe. 1989, yeah. yeah. I was out of work. Hey. I was out of work. <laughs> And then you yeah. then you run into Tom yeah. Brokaw, hmm? who was doing a stand up in front of your apartment building. He was down oh. the street doing a stand up. Tom Brokaw. Oh, I'm fine. going back into the marina, and here comes Tom Brokaw <laughs> walking up to me, and he just looks over at me and goes, "How's it going?" <laughs> and I went, uh, "It's it's not easy, but uh, we're getting by." And he said, "A lot of good luck to you." <laughs> so, it was nice. He stopped. He actually asked me how I was doing. Well, that's good. That was really nice. You know. hmm. but anyway, I oh, got to tell you one other quick story. <laughs> yeah, then we got it. I had a girlfriend who had an apartment on the street next to mine. And hers got kind of red line, which meant don't go in there. Okay. So she had like uh, half an hour to get go in and get all her stuff that she wanted to take. So we had a little wheelbarrow thing, you know, and these coasters that kids use. We got one of those and we put piled everything she could in there and got out. All right. And we start walking down the street. We're down near that building that collapsed. And all of a sudden, uh, a reporter comes over to ask us a question. And they he said, so uh, I want to ask you a question. Is it OK? And we said, fine. So they said, OK. And they turn on their lights and turn on their camera. And as soon as they did that, it was like pigeons on popcorn. 50, 60 cameras suddenly show up. What? To all watch us answer and be pathetic about our condition. Jeez. And to the credit of this old girlfriend of mine, she simply looked at him and somebody said to him, we understand they just dragged the bill. Uh, uh, what, what have you been seeing? He said, well, we saw them take a dead body out of that building. And they said, what did it look like? <laughs> and she said, you know something? We've had a terrible tragedy happen here. If all you can do is pester us about this, get the hell out of here. We're not talking to you. Wow. You know, uh, it was, it was, it, 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 the press was just all over this thing, but they were like pigeons on popcorn. I couldn't believe it. I mean, well, I mean people look pathetic. You know? the well, you saw the network news sent all our anchors down to Florida 
to do the show in front of that building. All the network anchors to the marina. Yeah. Band. Yeah. Well, they already had all the trucks here for the World Series. So, I mean, they had. They, you're they, right. You're yeah. right. I didn't even think about that one. Yeah. And, but anyway, hey, listen, we were five minutes over what we normally do, but gee, this is this is fun. I love it. Uh, and we'll do it again. We'll do it on, on uh, the 4th of July. Maybe I'll take the next day off from the nighttime show and say to hell. There you go. Uh, because I love, I like doing the show. I love talking with you guys. Uh, thanks to Shecky. <laughs> thanks to Mike. Thanks to Steve Bender. Thanks to Andrew Deutsch. Thanks to Charlie Wallace. Thanks to Lynn LaFrisco. Thanks to Marjorie Mylar. Is that how it's going? <laughs> oh, thanks to Marjorie Schwartzman. Mm. Uh, you wish. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> There's a lot of wives today not taking their husband's names anymore. You know, Jeff Stein. Does your wife use your name? She no. has a different name. Then, see? Huh. You're probably not married to her. Uh, I probably <laughs> are. Uh, Scott Boddicker, always nice to see you here. It's fine. And, and Vernon, uh, next time, do it from upstairs. <laughs> okay. In better shape. Everybody, give a big goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. There they go, folks. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Thanks.